Thank you for coming out tonight. Um, we imported the weather especially uh, for you guys tonight. You can't foresee that sort of thing, but I think this is wonderful that you guys have braved the bitter cold to come out tonight. My name is Alan Clements, uh, and this is the Fulton University Chorus. Obviously, you know who they are. You probably wouldn't be here tonight. We're going on a short mini tour, I guess you would call it. Uh, we just started this afternoon. Uh, camp classes started yesterday. Uh, and they had classes yesterday and today. We are on our way to Searcy, Arkansas to participate in the Christian College Choral Festival that's held every other year. Uh, we're gonna join about 400 other uh, college uh, chorus singers and spend uh, tomorrow evening and all day Saturday with them and sing for each other and work on about five pieces together. So we'll have a, a mass choir, I guess, uh, tomorrow night about 450 people. And that's always a wonderful experience. And so we're looking forward to that. Um, thank you again for being here tonight. I will try to keep my comments to a minimum because I know that's not why you're here. I just want to point out a couple of things. Uh, printed program, if you grab one on the way in, you'll be in good shape. They're, the pieces of music are listed in the program in alphabetical order. We're not doing them in the order they're listed here in because when I had to print the program, I wasn't sure what the order would be. Um, but if you ever hear a piece of music that sounds like it's in a foreign language, kind of scan through for it. If there are italicized words in blueprint, that's the English translation of the foreign language text. So uh, it's too late now for a couple of the ones that you already heard. But the first one was Hosanna in excelsis, which was glory to God in the highest. And then we went straight into Richter mich Gott, which is uh, one of the uh, Psalms. And it's set by Felix Mendelssohn. It's judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. That was the second piece we did. The third one that we did just now is the first movement of a larger work called The Peaceable Kingdom. We did Say Ye to the Righteous by Randall Thompson. That's from The Peaceable Kingdom. That's movement one, like I mentioned. It's an eight movement work. We're gonna end up doing, hopefully by the end of the year, about four, maybe five of, the, of all eight movements. It's a, it's a pretty big work um, and it's all a cappella. And if that last one sounded somewhat difficult, that's probably one of the simpler ones of the eight movements. Um, so they, they've been working really hard on those. Um, we're going to, take just a moment to shift gears now and you guys can go ahead and do your thing. Yes, that's it, you got it, yeah. Um, we have a smaller chamber chorus at Faulkner called the Faulkner Singers and they rehearse separately um, a couple of times a week and they work on their own repertoire and so we're gonna sing a few songs right now with just the 17 or 18 of them. Um, we'll do four of them. Uh, the first piece is called Esto Les Digo, that's another foreign language piece, it's in Spanish. And the text, as you can see there, uh, in your program, it's the very first one listed, uh, comes from Matthew 18, verses 19 and 20, and it's the passage that talks about wherever two or three of you are gathered in my name, there I will be with you. Um, the second piece this group will do is called Sing Me to Heaven, it's by Daniel Gothrop, and it kind of takes on the idea that there are different songs that are appropriate for different occasions. And so we'll talk about a love song, and we'll talk about a lullaby, and we'll talk about a requiem, which is uh, what you sing, of course, when somebody passes away and you want to remember them uh, at, a, at a funeral type situation. Um, then the last two pieces this group will sing, the first is by Thomas Tallis, who's a Renaissance composer from England. Uh, and it's the text, If You Love Me, Keep My Commandments. Um, and then finally, we'll finish up this sex, uh, section of four pieces. Um, with God be in my head. Um, and the words aren't printed here, but it talks about how you want God to be in every aspect of your being. You want him to be in your eyes and in your looking, in your, in your head and in your thinking, in, your, in, in this, and, you know, and it kind of, uh, you'll kind of see the, the setting, how, it, how it's set as we sing it here in just a minute.
I am terrible about remembering to acknowledge soloists. That was Lauren James uh, on SLS Digo. I want to give her the credit for that solo. We'll sing now Sing Me to Heaven by Daniel Gall.
just a, a handful more to sing for you tonight. We're, uh, yeah. um, we're at the point in the year where we have what we're singing for you tonight learned, and we have probably another four or five pieces kind of learned, but not good enough to, to do in public. So uh, if you want to catch the full show, come down to Montgomery late April, and uh, we'll sing everything we know at that point there on campus. Uh, but we're going to do about three or four more pieces for you tonight, and uh, they're probably hungry, and you guys might be too, so it's probably for the best that we're not going to do a, a really, really long performance tonight. Um, we're going to go ahead and sing uh, Peace I Leave With You now. Um, the composer is William Holloway. Um, he was a member uh, of the faculty at Harding for years and years. Actually, uh, had him for a couple of classes when I was a student there a long time ago. He wrote several pieces of music, and we'll do Peace I Leave With You uh, next. And then Tenebre Facte Sunt. Uh, that one sounds foreign, so uh, yeah, it is. It's in the printed program there. That's a combination. The words are a combination of several gospel accounts of what happened to Jesus when he was on the cross. You can see there. It's taken from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John to varying degrees, and, uh, but it talks about how darkness covered the earth when the Jews had crucified Jesus, and about the ninth hour, uh, he cried out with a loud voice, my God, why hast thou forsaken me, uh, etc. So we'll sing that one right after peace I leave with you. Uh, and then we'll finish up um, this set of three with a spiritual called Little Innocent Lamb that's arranged by Mar Marshall Bartholomew.
You guys make them really nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm going to blame you. Yeah, yeah. Throwing them off their game just a little bit there. Um, we're going to finish up now. You guys can go ahead and spread out. Um, we're going to sing the Fulton University alma mater. And if you uh, are a Fulton alum or a current student and you want to come and sing the alma mater with us, we invite you to do so now. Um, and then we'll follow that up with the Lord bless you and keep you. And you're all, of course, welcome to join us as we sing that. While they're rearranging here, I um, just want to Thank you once again for having us. Thank you, elders, for uh, allowing us to come and sing for you tonight. We hope that you've been um, edified and uplifted in some way. Special thanks to Ron Cobb, who I've dealt with via email, but I've never actually met in person. I don't know if Ron's here tonight. There's Ron. Yeah. And so uh, thank you, Ron, for kind of uh, being the contact person on that. Thank you, ladies, I think led by Miss Kitty up here, for preparing food for us that we're all going to enjoy here in just a few minutes. And if you're a host family and you're keeping one of us or several of us in your homes tonight, we can't thank you enough for your gracious hospitality. Um, there are some materials about Faulkner on a table in the back. You probably saw those on your way in. You guys are close enough uh, that you probably know all about Faulkner already. It's not like we're on the other side of the country. But if you want to take, uh, are there free pens? Yeah, free pens. And uh, there's probably some admissions type materials, view books and that sort of thing. If you have a child who is thinking about Christian education or if uh, you have a relative or somebody you'd like to share that with, feel free to take that stuff if you want to. There'll be a few friendly students back there to answer any questions you might have immediately after the performance. Uh, we also have a little blue box in the middle of that table that says travel fund or Fulton University Chorus travel fund, something like that. If you feel compelled to make some sort of a monetary donation to help us defray the cost of travel expenses, that's always appreciated, but of course it's never expected. Um, we do have a budget, a travel budget, um, but it never hurts to have a little bit to offset the cost. So uh, that's back there just to make you aware of that as well. Thank you again for having us tonight. We're gonna sing the alma mater now. So come on if you're going to sing with us. Yeah, we want you to come and stand in amongst the people up here. Yeah, I'm waiting for those people. Yeah. There's two of them, and maybe three. Yay, good. That's Katie and another girl that I knew. Not Taylor, is that right? Is that right? Taylor, look at me. Yeah, Katie and Taylor. Any other Faulkner folks? Okay. And we're going to sing the alma mater, and then the Lord bless you and keep you. Thanks again for having us tonight.